All right, this must be week nine or ten. I've been on TRT. I'm losing track. Okay, I will do another video that talks about it. Now, what have I discovered uh, with TRT? Um, one, it makes me more grounded in a sense of I don't want to say confidence. It's a bit like you have more energy to. Not be a doormat if you're already a doormat. I think sometimes when I'm vulnerable, I could be a doormat because uh, it's just the way to do with when I was brought up. Um, you know, if you have conflict, uh, you get beaten uh, and no attention, basically. But if you try to be helpful or abide by the higher powers um, you, you tend to be rewarded so and this is stemmed up even into adulthood but that meant sometimes when I feel vulnerable so I'm not strong within myself like your hormones are going out of whack you naturally get low in testosterone when <laughs> you get older and I don't care what those gurus or those fuckers out there that say you know you take this weed you do this meditation you do this ice bath and then it's gonna increase your testosterone and all that fucking bullshit right you could do all that and it might increase it right but obviously sleep does help so I'm never ever gonna cancel sleep like it's just it's common sense sleep a lot it's gonna help your hormone levels right but you can't change the fact that you're getting older. No matter what you fucking do, you could get all the vitamin D and all the rest, right? Then you do your ice baths and then you put your fucking feet on the grass, right? Look, you see somebody on testosterone. I'm only on 1.5 every five days. That's not a lot. That's tiny, right? But it just levels me up to when I was the age of about 30, when I'm like 29, 30. So I'm 42. I'm just taking back 10 years. And I remember, you know, like when you're in your early 20s, you, you kind of like, you, you got this like naivety. And I, I did, right? Where it's like, this is why I started a Christian rock band when I was in my late teens, early 20s. And we were dog shit. We were absolutely fucking dog shit right i'm on about like um uh, i thought like just the idea i mean i just thought just fucking uh, i had the ability to write songs and i had this uh, naive ability to play guitar there was no proof in the pudding but whatever was needed of me i just worked myself to get to that bit of the guitar to learn it and I remember practicing and practicing and practicing so many like things that I got even better people to show me how to do this thing on the guitar songs I just had this fucking naivety that my songs were the best <laughs> or were catchy I wouldn't say the best but definitely catchy and there was a certain uh, arrogance to it. And I think that is all to do with uh, testosterone you see in young men. Do you know what I mean? This is why, you know, young men go to war. It's, it's easier to convince young men to go to war than fucking, uh, you know, middle-aged men. Because we will question things. Because it tends to be we have a lot more life experience. But also, we're not so heightened up in our testosterone as well. Okay, so... So you see, even when men get like too much testosterone, even in middle age, like there's only one way to do it, is really to inject it and you, to get that what steroid rage and all that stuff. But we're not talking about that. We're just talking about that little bit just to move you back up. And um, basically that has helped me to how to be more assertive to go to actually have the energy to because sometimes and I did a lots of tests online. And it seems like I'm I'm actually like codependent person. So, and I don't like conflict, but I do conflict not because of the sake of conflict. I do it when I feel like an injustice has happened. 
Um, but if I could, I would avoid. Like, and that's my attachment style. I'm, I'm an avoidant. Uh, because that's how I kept safe when I was young in a chaotic environment. I just avoided, just kept whoever was the loudest and the craziest happy. And this actually uh, played out in uh, my, uh, um, with me and my ex-wife, hence our, our, last, uh, our relationship, obviously, ex-wife. Uh, and not to say she's a bad person, but, but we just played out our childhood traumas to each other so much that uh it just caused it was just so toxic and um these are the things that you carry also when you are on trt right and you back up because i didn't have that experience before not having trt so when conflicts do happen or things that may be crossing the boundaries it's not like you go crazy you just don't go crazy but you're just more like you keep your boundaries and you'd kind of like, you, you stand up for yourself in the sense of, hey, it's not like you shout, you shout, you're just more firmer, like, no, I won't do this, I won't do that, that's not acceptable, because that's not acceptable, I'm not a doormat. Um, and you also have more energy to do things and this is the thing that most women don't really realize with men. A lot of men, they get tired. <laughs> it's very obvious, isn't it? And so do women. But when guys get very, very tired, it's also part of that recharging their testosterone, right? And um, hence that's why they nap, you know what I mean? Um, well, when you get your TRT balanced, like now it's kind of that recovery is, is a lot quicker. So we'll have a lot more bounce back. You don't get ill as much. You sleep deeper. And yes, the magic question is, is your libido better? Yes, the desire is there. Um, it's, but it's weird because the last time I felt this good was probably in my mid-20s. In a sense of my libido but at the same time you've got all this experience and also respect for the opposite sex but also knowing what's good for you what's not good for you you're kind of like so you're a lot more like weary but yet you also have that desire so I guess it's more healthier um, than when you were 20 or maybe late 30s, well, I was early 30s when I met my ex-wife. So, yeah, now you're just a lot, lot more cautious, even though you've got this energy. And your drive of just getting through shit is, is, is increased. I wouldn't say it's ultimate, but it's definitely better than when you're not on it. Um, and you know what? It's just your general feel. You just your general kind of like feel is like okay. Let's go for it. Let's let's just do it. Let's it's all right. You know what I mean. And uh, yeah, you personally you just have a little bit more bounce so you're not like so neggy throughout the day <laughs> do you know what i mean the, the the cups it's the same amount of water probably but you're just like fucking more you see the world more positive than negative and or you have the ability to drive through it so there you go so yes week nine and ten that's my feedback I need to go to bed.